Alright, start from the math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss another related rates problem. And I'll look at a car driving problem or a driving car problem. Uh, anyways, basically, the one I'm going to go over is this one here, which states car A is traveling west at 50 miles per hour, and car B is traveling north at 60 miles uh, per hour. Both are headed for this for basically the intersection of the, the two roads they're on. And at what rate are the cars approaching each other? One car A is 0.3 miles and car B is 0.4 miles from the intersection. Well, to solve this, uh, like always, it's good to draw well, basically what you're trying to uh, read right here. So basically, let's say the intersection is this and you have car A because remember, they're both going to the same intersection. One's north, one's south. So let's draw car A first. So, so basically, this is car A. Let's just make it, uh, I'll just write it A right here. And it's going this way at a rate of basically 50 miles uh, per hour right here. And car B is going north, so that's going west. Car B is going, uh, I'll call this B right here. And it's going north at 60 miles per hour, or MPH. Or you can write it like that, it doesn't matter. So both are headed for the intersection of two roads, which is this right here. And at what rate are the cars approaching each other when car A is 0.3 miles, car B is 0.4. So basically, what when this is basically at uh, point, uh, 0.4, but I'll, I'll write first, actually, I'll write this as a Y. I'll write these in a general form because they're getting, it's, it's getting smaller and smaller, so the distances are changing. So and I'll write this distance right here as x. And now, so the distance between each other, that will just be z right here. So that's the, this distance over here. It is z. And basically what we're asked to find now is what is the rate that they're approaching each other, which is a distance from each other, the, uh, each other, which is z again. So you're looking for z prime, which equals to, well, the derivative yeah, derivative in, ter in terms of time, or dz over dt, or z prime right here. So we're asked for to solving this, and then if we write this in, in terms of uh, values right here, when x is equal to, well, 0.3, that's from an intersection here, when x equals to 0.3 miles, and then also at when y is equal to 0.4. So we're looking at uh, at this scenario here, when these are how far they are at. And now, uh, like always uh, in related rates problem, what the idea is to basically relate this rate, what we want to know, the z prime, to rates that we do know. In this case, we know actually x prime and y prime, which are the 60 miles and 50 miles per hour. So we know that, uh, so we are given that x prime is equal to, basically, we have to put a negative actually. This is actually 50 miles per hour. And that, the reason it's negative is because this distance x is getting smaller and smaller, and if it's getting smaller and smaller, the rate has to be negative. So we have to put a negative on that. Same with y prime. This one, is, we're given it's a negative 60 miles per hour. Again, doesn't matter how you write it, uh, miles per hour, or, or put a slash, or just put a p there. And the same thing, it has to be negative because this distance is shrinking. You're getting closer and closer to it. It's going 0.4 you're at, but it's going to get smaller and smaller until you finally meet at the intersection. So we're given this, and now to relate the, these three variables, yeah, and we can relate all these three using Pythagoras and more, because remember, this is just a triangle. This is north, uh, west, and we have diagonal or hypotenuse. So we know that z, z squared equals to x squared plus y squared. And this is just basic Pythagoras. You can see proof of this in the video link below. And now we could use uh, implicit differentiation, basically solve the derivative uh, implicitly on both sides. Uh, you can also see that in the video link below. Basically, we can take derivative on both sides, so we'll get in this case using power rule two times uh, z, the power drops, and then we always have to use chain rule because this is a function of t. So this is going to be now dz over dt, or we could put it as z prime, same thing. And then this side's over here, we'll get two x x prime, or this is going to be well dx over dt, the same thing as dx over dt. I just don't like writing that because it just makes things look look more complicated. And then finally, this is going to be plus the same thing here. We're going to get 2y, y primes. Doesn't matter how you write these y primes, or you could add these uh, dz over dt, etc. So now we have this. The twos will obviously cancel, divide it all out. And now we could solve for this rate that we need. Z prime now is equal to, well, dz over dt equals to now x times x prime plus y 
times y prime all divided by z. That's just one here, we just divide that out. So we have an equation for the rate that we want, which is a distance between the two cars in, in terms of the rate that the cars are moving. So if we just plug this in, we're getting an x of, I think it's 0.4. I believe yeah, point, actually that's 0.3. So we have actually yeah, 0.3 miles times it by, now this is the rate here, which is 50 miles per hour so times 50. You just put a bracket like this, actually it's a negative. And then plus a y, which is 0.4 miles, and then times it by negative 60. And then this is all divided by, well, we have to find what z is actually. And z, we could just use Pythagoras, and we can, uh, or, yeah, we, so we have to put z here. Let's put this here, and then we have to solve that right now, actually. Yeah, so if we write it down, z, uh, z squared is equal to, well, x squared plus y squared right here, and we know that this equals to 0.3 squared plus basically uh, this is uh, 0.4 squared. We're, we're going to get in this case, yeah, if we square this is actually the same thing as writing uh, over here. Yeah, writing, this is going to be 1 divided by, th actually I mean 3 divided by 10 squared right here plus 4 divided by 10 squared. We're going to get now, this is going to be 9, 9 over 100 plus this is going to be now um, 16 over 100. So add these up, we're going to get 25 over 100. And then squaring these, this is z squared. So now if we square the, these two, we're going to get z is equal to square root, uh, well, plus or minus, but then we're kind of a negative uh, distance between it. We're only looking at them the, when they meet at the intersection, so we'll only look at the positive. This is going to be 25 over 100. And then squaring the uh, square rooting the top, we're gonna get five over this is square root of 100 is 10, and it's equals to 0.5. And if you already knew this, this is gonna be 0.5 because number three, four triangle always makes uh, five right there, or uh, as a five or 0.5. So 0.5 miles is z, and we write this in here 0.5. Actually, and then if you plug this into the calculator, you plug into the calculator. If you have one in, the, in an exam or one of the, they wouldn't give you something this hard if you weren't allowed to use a calculator. But you're gonna get basically. I'll just drag this all the way over uh, past this over here. We'll get z prime is equal to negative 78 miles per hour right here. So the distance that they're getting closer to each other is 78 miles per hour. And yeah, that's basically the rate that the Z prime is changing. And anyways, that's all for today. Uh, if you learned from this related related rates problem, and remember, you can always download these notes in the Dropbox link below, as well as watching all other related videos to this in the video links below in the description. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.